Oh, okay. Yeah. Dan's texting someone. Uh, we had machine, washing machine issues. Is that what that was about? Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll try to bring it up. So go oh. ahead. Hi, Mouse. Tell everybody hi. So you're, here's you're, Mouse. He's kind of getting in the way of everything behind us. Knocking things over. So. But, so tonight I thought we'd um, start out by just kind of talking about baskets because uh, it's that time of year. So I brought out, I've ordered a lot of different kinds of baskets. I've got a few more upstairs that we had left over from last year. Um, and I've got goodies coming for in the basket. So I'll be posting out there varying sizes. And this year we have the last three years always tried to support a local business. Um, a local small business. So first year was Kathy Kirby. Uh, she did cookies. Mm -hmm. And then last year we teamed up with not only beans, teas, and other things with coffee, but um, also Marion Chocolate Shop with chocolate. So this year we are going to team up with a company called Yak Creations. So um, actually my niece and her sister-in-law are doing uh, just some... It's, it's this kind of thing, so bracelets and whatnot, but they also are doing some wine charms. So we'll add a few wine charms to baskets as well as wine stoppers. So they're working on a few things to add to our basket hmm. on top of that. We just like to support local, and that's one of the ways we can do it. So one you just got? Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. this one, I really expected it to be a lot bigger, but that's what I got. So. Yeah. Um, that's all right. Looks like so what Dorothy would have it. on the front of the bicycle as she's yeah. pedaling with Toto. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we just have a limited supply on each one of them. So we expect to see that real soon, uh, and we'll get that out there. So happy to also announce that we are in Boondocks in Anamosa, and Leanna just opened up a whole storefront. So not only is she in the vendor market. Uh, down across from Fairway in Anamosa, but she's also got her own storefront. Yeah. So, yeah, stop in and see her. And then Thou Art Gallery is also now carrying our wine. So they've got, each of them have a little bit different things, so you should check them out if you're in Anamosa. I know I've had people over that way asking, where can I get the wine? Uh, and that's where you can get it real close to home. So we're working on one other restaurant slash bar to get into and, and hopefully we'll hear more of that on that before the end of the year. Yeah. So, so what are we drinking tonight? Uh, New Beginnings. This is actually, it's funny because this, <laughs> this was in the refrigerator. So sometimes we do uh, some test stuff and this doesn't, this isn't mm. sparkled, it isn't sweetened. So this is everything prior to being sparkled and sweetened. So, very dry. Um, you probably. I took a sip of it. I just I thought it was one of your, the new beginning sparkling, but I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, no, it's not sparkled up. So, but um, on that front, you know, we're working on racking. We've been racking wines, and DJ's doing some testing to see how we can clarify that wine the best without losing the taste. So we're working on that right now, and and we'll. He was super excited yesterday because he sat there and just watched it. You know, it's, it's like it's like watching the grass. It's not, it's not gonna watching change. Watching the grass it's grow. Just sit for like a week. What is it? The so, watch pot never boils or whatever. Yeah. He just sat there and yeah, just watched it. That. So just excited. But yeah, this past weekend we worked on uh, racking. Whoops, racking our red wines, mm -hmm. uh, which we they did, needed. We it. did rosé and and. Uh, yeah, we, spark, the new beginnings. Yeah, and the, well. the reds. We did find and out. And Ellie Bell. Ellie Bell. Find out that uh, we got together with our our uh, Sunday afternoon meeting with Ron, and then we had uh, Dan Peterson over there, and, and we got to talking about uh, uh, Dan Peterson. They've got Dan and Al have Deja Vine, mm -hmm. um, but we said that we noticed some of the uh, wine that we racked had a lot more stuff in it. And come to find out is what he was saying, Dan was telling us, that uh, the higher the bricks, the more stuff that you get in it. 
Yeah. Which I've I've never noticed that before. Never paid no attention. It's Didn't like, know. We're like yeah. I don't know. What's the difference? They go I don't know. We picked it late in the season. Yeah. Which goes hand in hand with what Dan said. The higher higher bridge. And what thing. I didn't also realize was how long they've been around. Yeah. So what did they say tw was, twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's fun. But but we had some good some of the petite pearl and stuff over there. We tried some different. Uh, we pulled one out that was what back to twenty eighteen. Mm hmm. Uh, do a 2018, 19, and the 20, or stuff. Which the back. Uh, that brings up another thing is the vertical. Yeah. That we want to do so. And that's with the Foch, so. Yeah, keep an eye out for that because we're that will be invite only, and it'll be you know, we've got some customers who really, really like Foch, so they will be invited, and hopefully they can come yeah. to our to a and that might vertical be a, tasting. Yeah, especially have maybe for the. New Year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That'd be kind of nice. But uh, yeah, we worked on that. Um, and we have noticed that, yeah, we do have some larger tanks this year. So um, we've got quite a bit of wine. Um, like I said last week, or did I mention last week, I got to get a hold of uh, World Cooperage. You did mention it last week. Yuri. And I haven't done it. I Well, I did call him, but he was out of town. But then I got busy and the weeks just don't last long. But, we, but in the meantime, we've had some good customers that have stopped out who really like our dry wines and tasted that barrel and said, don't do anything. Yeah, stay so we're gonna so going to stay with the same same style Petite Pearl mm -hmm. barrel. Uh, the Foch, we're happy with it. So, um, so yeah, we're going to get a couple more and get them put in. But the thing we noticed, though, is, is uh, the petite, two Petite Pearl patches we have, the one from Mount Vernon and one from Anamosa, are tasting a little different, so yeah, they're um, they're both very good. But it's it there again. It gets back into the soil and stuff that uh, everything's super super young yet. Yeah. So, yep. But uh, so we worked on that. Uh, we had a few people stop out, uh, get some wine over the weekend. Some retailers or wholesalers that we sell to are yeah. in and out, and uh, running out of Nelly Bell. So and I think Blooms is they may be out. Uh, and we will, but if you do want it, we will be at L and B Poor's Poor House in Tipton. We are featured. Don't talk to me. We're their featured yeah. wine for the month of December. Okay, I'll put that down. <laughs> so yeah, go over there and check them out. They've got food, drinks, uh, in a cool new slash old building. Uh, right there, not too far from the square in well, Tipton. The other one was his um, semi sweet white. Yeah, we are so the last of that. We're so. done with that. So yeah. if it happens to be in a store and you see it and you like it, you better pop smash um, it up because it'll be coming back. We just got yeah. to get things bottled. I think. Do we have that up at the local craft? I don't know. I think it might be up there. Oh, my, I'm sure. Uh, but then yeah, I uh, I'd have to. Check and see what everybody's got. But so. we are, it, it, and we were talking about that earlier today, and and I was the one who always got nervous. And Dan's like, we're out. And I'm like, that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. We're selling through stuff, and we're ready for the new year. Yep. And uh, we'll get that stuff bottled as quickly as we can. I just contacted our contact regarding bottles because there's been a shortage, especially on sparkling. Uh, and... We've been warned of that from others that we know. Um, so we'll see. They're going to be getting back to me here real soon. So if there's a little bit of change in bottle, that's why. We had a little bit of change this year from our what was in reds from the year before. Yeah. We used like a brown. Brown, but this, and this uh, year was 20, green. Yeah, 2020 was darker yeah. green. Until it was emptied, you probably didn't notice. Yeah. But we did. So. Um, what else do we have going on? Um, that's about it, I think, for now. Um, it's... We'll be down at, um, no, oh. we'll be this Saturday. We'll be Sunday. down Sunday. We'll be in Wyoming. So if if you don't know Wyoming, Iowa, it's, it's the Christmas light city, um, mm. and you should go see their lights. So yeah, I think the, they have a holiday got, walk or something. Yep, that's what's happening on Sunday. There's a city walk, uh, and I don't know if that's like the big turn on the lights or I'm sure they're already on or but we'll be down at Holly's uh, to help her celebrate and 
We'll Do, have a tasting there, and you can buy wine there. So yeah, and I think there uh, might be a couple other wineries down there. Yep, I think doing, she's going to have a few in the store. Do, so. Doing tastings that day, so not only ours, but there'll be other stuff there to, that you can try too. So yeah, yeah, we probably won't take everything. We'll probably limit. Yeah, what we take just because there will be another winery there, and and do among the most popular. Yeah, I think our we can do. our sweets Whatever. have semi sweets and sweets have sold out down there. So. What's left is just the dry, so we'd probably take some of the sweeter stuff down, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, not you. You stay here. So, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's been a great year. Uh, we're looking forward to 2023. Mm -hmm. um, we <laughs> hope to score some land in 2023. We do have someone we've been talking to, so we'll see how that goes. At the end of quarter one, I'm hoping I can have everything uh, kind of in place to really be able to lay out a yeah. Because it'd be be nice to have a real offer. Be able to have you come out and try the wines in the winery and look at the scenery. That's why it makes the noise. I don't like it's called, that. It's called that wine chime. Yeah, that's why. That's it. You They're don't like cute, it. you guys. They're super cute. Well, you actually know you. Know, who's, know. Whose glass is My whose? My glass so. is blue and Dan's is purple. Mine should be blue because that's Dallas's color is blue. So What's purple have to do with me. I don't know. Okay. I just blue. Right. So, right. but okay. uh, but anyhow, the baskets. <clears throat> you can see the baskets. We'll have them up there. Um, yeah, get, well, get I'll put a out a post about those. I'm just waiting to get some of the items that are going into the basket in, and then I'll make a few up and, and put some pricing out. So we'll, I think we're going to have three levels of pricing um, with one, two bottles, and, and because you get to this basket and it's a lot bigger than the rest of them. So we'll, we'll do something like that, and anything anybody wants to do, we're always willing to work. So um, that's about it. We better get stupper going at them and thinly are going to be here any minute. Do you got anything to add to this? No? Okay. <laughs> I'll go back and check my uh, my wash machine to make sure that it's not leaking. Uh, I think I got everything put back together right. So I didn't have any spare parts, which was good. Um, and you didn't cuss too much. The hardest thing was bit. is if you ever have a front load washer is getting that band around to hold the front door seal on so i helped yeah you did you did so all right we will talk to you all next week have a great week come see us down in wyoming if you're around and enjoy the lights and enjoy the city yeah we'll talk to you soon can you say bye nope